excuse me. Welcome, Human Resources. What can we do for you, sir? I'm here for the evaluation. Okie dokie. And your name, sir? Bill Englewood. Spit that out, please, sir. Mr. Englewood, are you handicapped in any way? No. Wonderful. Did you hear that? Thank you. Excuse me. What kind of evaluation? We ask that you hold all your questions. Thank you. You didn't hear Mr. that? Mr. Englewood. Do you have any tattoos, sleeping disorders, piercings, psychosis, body mutilation, or paranoia of any kind? No. Are you currently taking any medication? No, I'm not. Hmm. Fill this up and have a seat. They'll be with you shortly. for you, sir. I didn't complete my form. Right through there, sir. Yeah, come in. Yeah, come in. Let's get this over with. Okay. Mr. Wilcox. My name's not Wilcox. Uh, Mr. Tipton, then. No. Takamura. Who are you? I'm Bill Inglewood. Here you are. You were at the bottom. Sit down. <clears throat> Which chair? It's your choice, Bill. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, Bill, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Well, I've worked in sector E for over 25 years now. I'm proficiently skilled in all of my job duties. 
I get in every day at nine and out by... Strangle, do you know why you're here? No, I don't. It's very simple, Bill. We're currently relocating our offices and uh, we're just going through everyone's file, seeing who fits, who doesn't. Pretty basic business procedure, actually. Relocation? Like where? To our Orlando-based offices. I didn't know the company had offices in Orlando. Oh, yes. Very beautiful offices. Our workers love it. I don't know if I'm uh, ready to go down there right Did the receptionist give you your form? Yes, she did. Do you know how to fill out your form? <laughs> of course I do. It's, it's just that none of the pencils out there had, um, you know, were working properly. So it's our fault that you don't know how to fill out your form. Uh, so then it's your fault, isn't it, Bill? Let's look at your file, shall we? How old are you, Mr. Englewood? 49. 49? I mean 50. But you said 49. I'm sorry, sometimes I just forget. Is memory loss common in your family? Um, it's not memory loss. Um, Mr. Englewood, is there any history of uh, heart disease, diabetes, and or chronic constipation in your family? No. What kind of questions just are standard procedure. Mr. Englewood, are you currently married? No, I'm not. No, I am not. Excuse me, is, is, is that a problem? Not for me. Sir Englewood, is it true that on March 26th you needed aid from a fellow worker to refill a water cooler? Yes, but I had pulled my back out. Are you aware that that little act of charity cost us valuable hours of worker time? But it only happened once. I know how it must feel to work in your condition. I, I don't have a condition. This is a terrible mistake. You must it's be It's no mistake, Bill. We don't make mistakes. But we do fix the ones that we find. <clears throat> it's our jobs to find weakness and then eradicate it as quickly as possible. If one person begins to slow down, then it just drags everyone down with it. You know, I, I, I think I will take that transfer after all. You can think of this as an ant farm, better yet, a beehive. See, in order for the hive to function, all the bees have to be fit and work together. What? We just feel that you've reached your limit with us. You're going to get rid of me? In a matter of speaking, yes. I, I don't believe it. Bill, don't you understand? You're of no more use to us in this present state. He's all yours. You see, Bill, in business, the parts are more important than the whole. After a certain number of years, a worker couldn't possibly perform at its once optimal level. If we could utilize the parts, like a car manufacturer, then we can somehow get a little more out of that worker. So you see, Bill, we don't actually let our workers go. We incorporate them back into the system. That way nothing goes to waste.
Excuse me. Welcome, Human Resources. What can we do for you, sir? 